day for a bike ride. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> so I set off this morning, parked in Matlock and then rode up the Monsell Trail to, to get the southernmost most point of the Peak 200 loop. I'm not actually doing the official 200, I'm doing the, the bikepacking.com version, uh, which is called the Dark and White Peak Peak. Um, I'll put a link below for, for the route and stuff. And yeah, I met my friend Tom, rode a couple of hours together before we looped back, and then the rain closed in and uh, here we are. So I've just passed Halisage uh, about 10 miles ago, and we're um, yeah, heading into the heart of the Peach Street. forecast most of the afternoon but uh hopefully we'll clear this evening and find somewhere to camp i've got my tent because i knew the conditions would be crappy don't fancy moving in this um so yeah for now just gotta get my head down and uh get on with it Right, just rolling along the edge of Derwent Water, you can see it behind me. Uh, I used to, the, the bit I just rode over the top, so I used to do that when I was a kid, so it's great memories. Now I think we're heading uh, towards the top of the water and up to Hope Cross for the first time um, before dropping down into the Hope Valley. There we go, there's Lady Bower Reservoir. It wasn't Derwent, I always get the two models. Yeah, heading around the back there and then you see the hills behind the reservoir. Climbing up there. Chunk of the way up at least. Be much more fun coming down that though, I think. This is one of the classic Peak District descents. I've ridden it a few times in my life. Real rocky and cool. Um, I think it goes down to Hag Farm and the main road at the bottom there. But after this rain, it's so slick. I just fell over walking up it and uh, yeah, probably be quite sketchy going down. Um, but we're going up it anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. There we go, that's Hope Cross then. So right now I'm heading back down this, this way into the Hope Valley, then up and over the hill to the side. I think it goes up past the cement factory. You probably can't see it now. And then later on, I'll be coming back up this way and, uh, and over that way. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, I think that's the, the, the way up from Edale. So yeah, doing a nice little circle now. Right, across the Hope Valley now. In the background, well, you won't be able to see anything really, but that's where I just came down. Bit of a steep climb up now, and uh, yeah, basically looping around and dropping back in further along. Oh man, well, it stopped raining, but ground's so wet that just getting absolutely covered, so still full waterproofs, head to toe in grit. I was going to try and get a pub dinner, but I don't know if I'll get let in anywhere. Um, so we'll have to see. And then hopefully, yeah, if I can stop somewhere, I can dry the stuff off. I'm kind of clean underneath, so I might get away with it. Getting some funny looks in there for some reason. Can't work out why. <laughs> right, just had a resupply in uh, I think Bamford, can't remember. The co-op. See the big factory behind me? Through the trees, I think it's a cement factory. Um, I'm gonna pass through Castleton soon, which is gonna be the last resupply for a while. So I might try and find a pub and get a dinner and just uh, maybe dry some stuff out because I'm kind of wet under my waterproofs. I didn't put them on quick enough. And um, yeah, I don't want to get 
too cold tonight. I've got some dry stuff to put on, but uh, it would be nice to at least start slightly drier in the morning. Right, just got some dinner. Big thank you to the George in Castleton. They uh, let me in when I'm absolutely head to toe covered in mud. And they even let me use a hose pipe to clean my bike after. So nice lasagna, a couple of garlic breads, two pints, and now I feel pretty battered. Next up, it's the climb up to Mamtor, up the old broken road. Um, it's about half six, so I just ride until it gets dark and then find someone to camp. But this is the old road, there was a landslide so it shut, you'll see further up, it's all wonky. That's the Hope Valley, cleared now which is quite nice, it's just so grey and miserable earlier. You can see the cement factory I passed by, and um, yeah, heading back up over Mam Tour, then up to Hope Cross where I was earlier, and then I'll uh, drop back down to Derwent Water, um, and I'll find somewhere to camp tonight. Going around the back of Mam Tor and then dropping down into Edale, which is uh, just sort of over the crest of this hill here. Just on the climb back up to Hope Cross. Um, I did initially think I might try and camp up there in the woods, but it's still light, I might drop down to Derwent. Just gotta find somewhere quiet and out of the way. There we go, back up on Hope Cross. Just, just about the dark now, so probably won't camp up here, there's too much wind, so I'll drop down a bit and uh, hopefully find somewhere to put the tent up. Oh, good morning. Had a nice little sleep in my tent. Um, set up in some woods out of the way, and uh, yeah, the wind was a bit wild last night. Not the best sleep I've ever had, but all good. And uh, the weather should be much better today. So um, yeah, looking forward to cracking out. I have got another seventy miles on the sleep. Not bad. Dirt and water. Dam's flowing, and I've got a nice rocky descent. Climbing up out of Derwent Valley, up Howden Moor, and uh, oh, my legs are a bit dead, so no way I'm going to ride this. Bit of hike a bike up, and then uh, yeah, drop down the other side. An awesome descent, I love that. Just love the, the rocky, gritty trails around here. Oh, they're my favorite type, I think. Anyway, not quite sure um, about the next bit of the trail, but essentially looping around the back of the north of the Peak District now towards Glossop. I think there's a rail trail that kind of leads into Glossop. Um, so I'm hoping for some quicker miles after that. 
that slow slog up over the moors. Right, making some progress. So just stopped at Glossop, a nice little coffee and a toaster sandwich. And yeah, now I'm heading into the, well, the final 30 miles of the route that I'm following. And now I've just got to ride back to Matlock after that. But um, I feel like I've almost broken the back of it. So there's one big sort of section across the tops coming up. And then I drop down onto the Monsal Trail, um, which is just cycleway on an old train line. So yeah, I feel like I'm almost there. Ah, it's probably warm today. The weather's really picked up. Come down from the hills behind me. What a day to be riding in the Peak District. Doesn't get much better than this. 17 degrees. were a lot of fun really getting dialed into the bike now and uh, the winds just dried off the surface a little bit so you know you're not going to come around the corner and just slide out so yeah just been off the brakes pushing as hard as i can knowing that's the last couple of descents i've got one little hill to get up and over uh, and then i drop down onto the monsal trail um, which is uh, part of the bikepacking.com peak 200 route i think the official route goes somewhere else um, so yeah and it's a nice cruise into the finish so almost done On the Montel Trail, just going to cruise into Buxton now on this. It's about 10 miles or so. So that is the Peak 200. Pretty much done. I've enjoyed it so much. I think the Peak District descent is just some of my favourite anywhere in the world. Um, so yeah, definitely do it again. Obviously, I did the the bikepacking.com version, hence been on the Montel Trail. The Peak 200. I think it takes in a few more technical descents and a bit more, a few harder routes. So I think. If I did it again, I'd do it in summer, do it in a one wait until the ground's dry, and then do the proper 200 route. But yeah, fantastic few days on the bike, recommend it to anyone. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll put a bike check up soon. And uh, 
Yeah, see you all again soon.